Hey folks, this is Tico here, and welcome to a new RimWorld series. So, let me give you a quick rundown of the major mods this time. As you may have guessed, our tentpole mod for this run is going to be Rim Atomics. This adds nuclear reactors, energy weapons, nukes. I haven't really tested it because I like surprises, especially those that involve Fallout. We are going to be going for kind of a post-apocalyptic feel this time. I am going to set up our colony in a cold bog biome because it looks neat. It's full of marshes, full of diseases. Um, I'm also going to be removing tribal factions since our society has not been collapsed that long. So that should be fun. Since we're actually going to have some nature this time, I've also decided to exercise our dominance over the world with a bunch of new plants and animals. The first up is VGP more veggies and extra trees and flowers. These just add a whole bunch of interesting plant varieties. With this, I'm not going to use any hydroponics. Our colonists are just going to have to get their hands dirty if they want to eat. For animals, I'm using alpha animals again because it's, well, awesome, as well as the animal collab project Megafauna and some extra cats and dogs with Spider Camp's dog pack and Let's Have a Cat. In conjunction with these, of course, I've added the Giddy Up mods. I should have used these a long time ago. This way our colonists will be able to ride our animals across the map or across the world. Since animals can also be used for caravans, I am re-including the Setup Camp mod for when my caravans need to stop and address, I don't know, whatever's happened, you know? For medical stuff, I'm going to be trying out Roz Bionics and Surgery Expansion, the hardcore version. This adjusts some medical operations and adds craftable bionics. It started out as an alternative to EPOE, but has since, you know, developed into its own complete system. From a quick look, it seems a little less superpowered than EPOE, which is good because it's really easy to make a colony of super soldiers otherwise. Questionable ethics is still included, but I'm only going to be using that for replacement organs and limbs. Cloning was pretty overpowered, although fun, but growing replacement parts was actually really hard, and I liked having more flexibility than just, you know, building prosthetics. To try to improve my battle skills, I have included Gear Up and Go, which gives you a one-click button to go ahead, have your colonists run back to base, change into armor, switch weapons, and then go to a preset position. It looks pretty cool, I'll probably never use it, but it'll be there and you guys can yell at me about it. Rimsinal is still installed, but I'm really going to use less of its weapons and instead try out the armor because I didn't really give those much of a try last time. I've also included Remote Tech, which adds remotely detonated explosives, which should be hilarious, and I figure you guys would enjoy that as well. For some slightly friendlier combat, I've added the mog Ugg You Got Me, which convinces pawns to stop social fighting when someone gets a serious injury. Since I prefer beating my pawns rather than resolving conflicts in a non-violent manner, this will hopefully help with the whole biting a leg off thing. Then there's the weird stuff. I decided that Sharknado needed to be included, and there's also a Thrumbo race, because of course there is. So that should be entertaining. There's also lots of other smaller mods, either those I've used previously or that we'll mention as we go along, and we'll just deal with those as they come. And as always, the mod list is linked in the description below. Okay, with all that said, let's go ahead and let's get started. We'll just use the regular crash-landed scenario. There is a Thromboian Wanderer one, so if you really want to play as a Thrombo person, I don't know, there's your chance. Anyway, uh, Merciless, I do not trust Iron Man with this many mods. And let's see here. It is actually surprisingly difficult to get a cold bog to generate. I had to play with this for quite a while to get him to appear. All right, here we are. And there's some right in the middle here. Um, There we go. Cold bog, small hills. We'll go ahead and we'll make this a little bigger. We have some extra factions going on here because I turned them up just a bit. So we've got lots of people. This will be fun. And for colonists, I've actually got a preset that I set up here. So I've got three people that are not totally worthless. Um, they're not great, but they're not awful. Um, I didn't set up any relationships. Oh my god, you guys actually are married. I didn't realize that. Okay, that's weird. Okay, for equipment, I had to think hard about a pet, but I decided that a female Maine Coon Kitty was going to be the way to go. There are lots of other good options, but seriously, Kitty. So, I think that's it. Let's go ahead and let's get started. All right. And here we are. So, let's go and let's take a look around this map. Alright, this isn't too bad. It's marshy. <laughs> Our ancient danger is conveniently located right there in the center. Okay, so, probably the thing to do here. Let's take a look, like, where can I build? Ooh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Hmm, okay. So it looks like we're actually going to end up using this area if I want to do anything in the middle of the map, right? Yeah. Ooh, that's really going to constrain us base-wise. Interesting, because I can't... Yeah, I'd have, to grow, I'd have to move over here if I wanted a bigger area. But I don't think that I do. This will be a fun challenge. So we'll kind of build here in the middle. So let's go ahead and let's unfermit everything on the map. 
Oh yeah, let's actually take a look around. So we've got, okay, a cougar. That's not great. Um, where's our kitty? Our kitty is called Brat. Okay. Sure. Fine. Whatever. Um, we've got ganders. I don't know what you are. You're birds. Okay. Oh, gander as in, yes, as in a goose. Yeah, okay. Here I'm expecting like some weird rimworld animal. There's just all kinds of new stuff around here. I guess we'll just have to kind of discover it as we go. Caribous, cypresses. So, let's take a look here at our work priorities. What do I want you guys to do? Oh, you're... This is not... This is not a high roll, I'm not gonna lie. Let's see here. Seven and six. I'll leave you on that. Um, maintain vats, I guess, if we ever get along to that. You're also gonna be our researcher. Um, I can turn bed rest and hauling plus and basic on all of you. In the beginning, this kind of doesn't matter really all that much. Ooh, cooking is pretty dire. Okay. I'm gonna turn hunting off for the moment. We'll come deal with that. Um, construction of four, construction of four. Let's put these both up pretty high. You're gonna be my grower, a backup grower. You're bad at mining, but I don't care. Everyone gets to mine. Smith, Taylor, craft, tall, clean, ugh. Okay. Well, most things kind of start out the same here. So let's turn off auto building and let's go ahead and let's get our zone set up. So I think we'll sleep in here at the beginning and then I'll start building our base around here. Oh, there's a vent right here. That could be useful. We'll have to see. I don't know if that will be useful or not. Hmm, that could go either way. Anyway, ooh, look at this stuff. Hold on, let's look at these new buttons. Let's throw this down here. Forbid riding area, mount drop spot. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. And we've got a tab for rim atomics when we get there. Uh, remote tech, ooh, cool. We can't build any of this stuff yet, so we'll have to take a look at it later. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. This is gonna be great. I'm looking forward to this. So, anything else that we really wanna do here before I get people moving? Let's see here. Can't build a roof over Willow Tree, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. So who can use a gun? Shooting at three, shooting at two. Huh. and a shooting at two. Okay, well in that case, why don't you go ahead and grab this revolver? Why don't you go ahead and grab the bolt action rifle? And why don't you go ahead and grab a knife? Yeah, and then just go ahead and haul things, please. Need colonist bed, need warm clothes, I know. As soon as you come and uh, carry stuff over, we can do all of that. Let's just give you guys some sleeping spots. They're terrible, but I don't care what you think. Let's go ahead and let's put in some walls. It's gonna be so weird having wood to just like build things. Like, you know, like here it is. Oh, kitty, you're so cute. Look at you. Anyway. All right, so let's get going at this. Oh yeah, let's put the food inside because I don't want animals randomly coming by and eating our food. So let's go ahead and let's get that set up separately here. Clear all foods at, we'll put this at important priority and that stuff will all get moved inside. Because the last thing we want is for all these things to get, you know, eaten by caribous or whatever else it is. Okay, so there's our temperature overlay. We don't need that at the moment. Uh, it's cold and they're just gonna have to deal with it. Things are not so great at the beginning. Sorry about that. You'll just have to learn to love it. What else do we want to do around here? I wonder if this is an ancient danger too. Actually, let's find out. Come here, are you an ancient danger? Yes, you are. Are you an ancient danger? Do I have two ancient dangers? <gasps> oh, that's gonna be fun. Ooh, all right. So what we're gonna be mining, let's see here, we've got some machinery over here, that's good. Some more over here. Got some steel up here. Hmm, there's not a lot of steel on this map, is there? Okay. We'll be, we'll be okay. There's some around here. Not, not a ton, but something. Hmm. Well, we'll kind of take that as it comes. All right, Holloway guys. So we should have, oh, 51 meals? How many does this scenario start with? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I like the fact that we have geese. I'm looking forward to killing geese. I do not like Canadian geese. That's nothing against Canada. We just had a ton of them in the town where I grew up, and I just hate them. I just hate them to death. They're loud, they're obnoxious, they're mean. They poop all over everything. They're just, I don't care for them. <gasps> There's actually chipmunks? Oh, that's funny. Actually, what's our wildlife look like? Whoa, sentient warhead? What? What is this genetic engineering? What? Okay. 
That's pretty cool. I think it just killed this ermine, did it? Um, I actually can't tell. Did you attack it? I have no idea. Well, that's weird. All right, what else do we have going on here? Nothing else too weird. Just lots of little guys. Oh, we have otters now? Cute. Oh, they're so adorable. Okay. So, anyway. And wild pods. I don't know what you are. What are you? You are a lumbering mass of decomposing plant matter. A sentient mycoid creature native to some jungle infested planet in the rim. Impervious to gunfire with bullets simply being absorbed into its mass, but very weak to fire. Reproduces asexually. Well, that's interesting. They can be hunted or farmed for decent amounts of edible raw fungus. Huh. Well, that's cool. Alright, are you guys freezing to death? No, it's 58 in here. You're fine. Permanent winter, huh? Oh, I guess I don't think I knew that. Okay. Well, this will be interesting. I'm gonna try to grow food in a permanent winter, huh? Okay. Okay, we can do that. We'll kind of build indoors to some degree then. I suppose I could go ahead and get some planting going. We can just go ahead and throw in a growing zone here. And, oh, and what should we grow? We should have all kinds of good things. Okay, okay so this is um, Dub's Mint Menus or something like that. It's kind of cool because it lets you like take a look at things a little better rather than having to choose them all at once. So we can grow tomatoes. That's pretty cool. Um, squash, rice, pumpkins, potatoes. A short cactus. That's interesting. Corn, heel, roses. Oh, look, we've got flowers. We've got coffees and bamboos. Okay, so let's see here. Growing time, 5.8 Should we just grow some pumpkins to start out with? They're not as good as potatoes. But it would be pretty funny. Let's grow some pumpkins. Yeah, they're pretty. These are all... I was just looking to see if there's anything that likes cold weather better, but no, they're about the same. They're all at 32. Okay, yeah, sure. Do that. And who's going to be my grower? Let's take a look here. Um, looks like Noriko is going to be my grower. Okay. Okay. Let's set up some time assignments here. Let's get you guys up in the morning. Let's get you guys to relax a little before bed, and then kind of work a whole bunch during the middle of the day. Minor break risk. Yeah, I'll bet. Is it because things suck at the moment? Oh, medicine should go inside here too. I forgot about that. Uh, manufactured... Medicine, drugs, mortar shells, explosives, all kinds of stuff. Sebo rounds. Oh boy, that'll be fun. Okay. So we should go ahead and we should get some more trees chopped down here for what's going to be the inside of our base. Just to kind of put some walls around here. Boy, you guys think my regular colonies are bad. Ho oh, ho 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 ho, you have no idea. This is going to be... This one's going to be grim, guys. So, let's see here. Um, Let's do it this way. Let's do the flooring thing so I can see what's going on. Okay, so we can start with a southern wall over here like that. That's not terrible. Well, I mean, it's terrible, but it's not, it's not as bad as it could be. Moisture pumps are going to have to be a priority on this map, unfortunately. New lovers, really? You guys have been here like five minutes. Moody wooed, uh, wooed Noriko by complimenting her beliefs. Okay. Sure. Sounds good. Let's go ahead and let's make you a double bed then. Go for it. And you can have some place to sleep. Neat. Good for you guys. Construction botched. Are you my best constructor? No, oh, unfortunately you are. Well, why don't you go ahead and make this anyway? That'll make two of you really happy because you will have a shared bed and you will not be sleeping on the ground. And then I'll make one more just regular bed here quick. So let's just throw that in there actually while I'm thinking about it. Wooden bed. I'm sorry you guys have to like sleep in the same room. I know it it is frankly super creepy, but well, you get what you get. Moody and Noriko. Okay. Or Noriko. Or I guess I don't know how to say it. All right, there we go. Now you don't have to sleep on the ground. You're still going to be freezing to death, but you'll be fine. Need warm clothes? Yeah, I know. This is going to be tricky without hydroponics. Hmm. I'm going to have to build indoor grow zones is what I'm going to have to do. But that's going to be a lot less productive, unfortunately. Hmm. Okay. Oh, here. Put a roof over. Put this up here so you can put a roofing in. Good job. All right, carry on. 
Oh no, I can't have you guys eating on the floor. Everyone's gonna freak out. Here, go ahead and just make just a tiny table. And then just some wooden stools. It'll be better than nothing. Please don't go crazy. Oh, I think I forgot to install the War Crime mod. Disappointing. But, alas, it is what it is. I need you guys to cover up our components, because they're outside and unroofed. Yeah, just get that taken care of. Thank you. It's better than nothing, then, at least. Need defenses, I know. Need a meal source, I know. Need warm clothes, I know. I may go ahead and start with the nutrient paste dispenser. A shooting frenzy, okay, cool. That may just be the best way to go. Nobody likes nutrient paste, but on the other hand, my best cook is what? A four? A three? A four? Ah. Uh, well, we can give it a try. All right, so let's take a look at a northern wall here. How is this going to look? Okay, things are not nearly as grim to the north. I can go ahead and I can put some walls in like this. Um, I just realized I put my growing zone where I probably should have put in my main entrance, but alas, here we are. And then we'll just go ahead and we'll start putting in some structure. Just slowly but surely, they'll get to it. Bit by bit, I imagine. Probably. Maybe? I can grow on this, right? Yeah, this is rich soil. So this is actually where I should be growing, is this whole corner right here. Maybe this area should be my main entrance, where I conveniently don't have an opening. That's not a bad idea. It's not a great idea, but it's not a bad idea. Yeah, let's open this back up. And then we can kind of mine this out too, because we're going to need stone chunks at some point. Not for a while, it looks like there's actually quite a few, but we will run out eventually. So we can kind of square that off a bit. Yep, go ahead and keep building our walls. I know everyone wants to start with nuclear warheads, however, you gotta have a base before you can blow it up, right? That's what I always say. Okay, so what should we call this place? Communal Union of Deluium? That's pretty funny. I like that. Campsite at the cave? Okay. <laughs> we'll call our settlement Theodore. I like that. Welcome to Theodore. <laughs> uh, good deal. You guys are idle. Why are you idle? Don't be idle. Start chopping down trees if you're idle. So many trees to chop down. This will keep you busy. Got to finish up these walls. And we'll box in the entrance. And then we got to get some power up. Um, what should we start up with for power? We could actually just use a wood fire generator here. That would not be bad to start with. That's actually not a bad idea at all. In fact, I think I will do that. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Why is no one wearing these pants? Oh, that's because someone's wearing the flak pants. That's right. Did I not build? There. Build that. I must have missed it. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and let's expand our home zone so I don't forget about this. Because that happens on a regular basis. And let's go ahead and let's plan out the rest of this internal area. And see what it is I want to do with this. So over here is going to be a growing zone because we do have a little bit of rich soil. So I should probably leave this whole area. So I could box this in for right now to kind of be our indoors area i guess that would be okay i need to get these chat bubbles turned down a little bit i never actually figured out how to do that last time how close can i plant over here we'll go we'll go something like this i don't want that to be inside because then it'll make it super hot in there so go ahead and do that and then we'll roof this whole area in then that'll be indoors the lag is from progress render and it is mildly annoying but it is also totally worth it because the time lapses are super cool at the end. How are our pumpkins going? Um, they're doing okay. They're doing alright. Maybe we should grow a lot more pumpkins. Is maybe what I'm thinking. And actually, while we're at it, we should probably grow... Um, we could probably use some cotton just to get that started. That's not a bad idea. Cotton. Yep. And... Looking at the rest of this, is there anything else we want right away? I don't think that anyone can grow this yet. This requires a growing of eight. And what's our grower rot? Yeah, six. So no one can even grow here right at the moment. Well, that'll be that'll be interesting. Alright. Well, continue chopping down trees. I'll put the generator over here, maybe. Just to put it inside, I guess for no particular reason. Come on, hurry up. Chop faster. Time's a wasting. 
much to do and less time to do in it. Baddies are going to start showing up and we got to be ready for them, you know? Plus, you have 31 meals, so you'd better hurry up. And that's for the four of you, because Kitty is allowed to eat meals at the moment. And did I remember to leave a spot for a door? I did. Good for me. Let's go ahead and let's just put that in right away. Construction botched, and knowing but true. Alright, let's go ahead and let's start putting in our power. We can just go ahead... Yeah, I like the idea of using a wood fire generator. I'm going to move it in just a little bit so we can repair the walls behind it. I like that idea. Let's do that. And so then inside we're going to want... Um, these wall lamps are super cool. If you didn't watch the last colony, these are really neat. I like them. And we should probably also put in a heater. Just so we're not freezing to death at night. We can just put that wherever. And then let's go ahead and let's just run some power cabling over. It doesn't have to be elegant, and it will not be. And I don't actually need a battery with a wood fire generator, so that's kind of nice. Teddy, how are you bored? What are you not set to? Plant cutting. I guess you can grow. Yeah, I guess you're going to be my researcher. That's going to have to wait just a little bit longer. Hi, kitty. Meow indeed. So let's turn this into two rooms then. Let's adjust that over just a little bit, actually. Just kind of like that. Yes, then they can have two bedrooms. And that will make them a little happier. A little tiny bit happier. Not much happier. We have 30 components. That should be fine. 380 wood. We're going to need a lot more than that. But for the moment, that's okay. Let's go ahead and let's hold this door open. Okay, so... Hold on. Construction, like, you guys need to stop screwing this up. Well, you're only at four. So I guess that's maybe the best we can do, actually. Wait, is this a door? Don't do that. That's not what I meant to put there. I meant to put temperature there. Go ahead and go do something else. This is where a vent needs to be. Right there. And then we can go and reinstall these beds. Look at this. They're getting bedrooms, like, already. Like, right away at the beginning, they're getting bedrooms. This is amazing. I mean, it'd be nice if you guys would come build that generator. That'd be pretty cool. And then the two of you get in here. Let's see here. That's Moody and... Noriko. Yep, there we go. I don't remember off the top of my head which job is refueling. I think it's a hauling task. So that may actually be a problem. Um, why don't one of you just come fill this up, please? Because we need it. There we go. Now we've got lights. Now we've got warm. This is very good. Okay, so at that point, let's go ahead and let's get started with our research. We just we just need to get that going. <laughs> so go ahead. Um, just stick it over here. That's fine. I don't know what I'm going to do with food production yet. That may end up being a separate area. But for the moment, I need this going. This is fun having access to all this wood. This is great. Colonicidal. All right, so let's get our research going. So... Hmm. We have a lot of options. So this is bionics. So we can go ahead and we can do a whole bunch of those. Remote tech, rimsonol, questionable ethics, more turrets, vegetables, rimatomics. That'll take us a bit. And more linkables. This adds some extra, like, cabinets and stuff. So that's something we'll have to deal with later. That's quite a ways in the future. Should we go straight for guns like usual? Or should we go through microelectronics to moisture pumps? Which would actually be pretty handy. The sooner we get microelectronics done, the better. Because, you know, it's got that increased work speed. On the other hand... I think we're gonna need to get some guns made. Yeah, we'd, we'd better... We'd better start with smithing. Yeah. Okay, yep, do that. Calling us idle. Again, you guys should not be idle. Just chop things down. We need a lot of wood, so go ahead and cut everything down. And how should we set up some defensive structures? Let's see here. This is actually a bad place to put the stockpile. The stockpile should actually be back here. So I can go ahead and I can move that. That's fine. Let's just keep building things out of wood. Because there's no problem that could ever develop from building our entire base out of wood. Everybody knows that. It's just science. Okay, thank you for building those walls. Let's go ahead and let's just move our stockpile zone over here. That'll be okay. And then everything can just kind of go in here and we'll deal with it later. I'm still on the fence over whether or not we're going to start with the nutrient paste dispenser or not. I think... I think maybe not. Oh, here's our first raid. Hooray! 
Pirates. Hi. You're a pirate equipped at the club. Are you going to be worth trying to... Oh my god. Let's do our level best not to kill him. Look at that guy. Okay. Cool. Alright, well let's set up some zones here. We can just start with just one zone called base for right now. That's okay. That'll keep him inside at least. He's just got a club. We don't really need to worry about him. We'll just shoot him a little when he gets too close. And then hopefully, again, not, not actually kill him. And he should come around through the inside here. And let's restrict... I already forgot. Let's restrict everybody to the base. And our kitty to the base. Yep. And we'll go ahead and we'll deal with those things a little later. Are you guys going to finish chopping down those trees or not? Apparently not. Okay, here he comes, guys. Get ready. Come on over. Oh, check this out. This is another mod that shows what weapons they're equipped with when they're drafted. Isn't that cool? That's going to make life so much easier. And you guys can just back up a bit. Well, it's not like you need cover, but back up a little bit anyway. Alright, let's wait for him to come around the corner. And then, we strike. Alright, here he comes. Nice shot! Well, this battle's off to a good start. Okay, why don't you back up? And you downed him without killing him! <gasps> I'm so impressed. Oh, I'm so impressed. And death in only eight hours. Oh, this is... This is fantastic. Bad news, Teddy. Um, You're losing your bedroom temporarily. We're going to go ahead and we're going to build you another bed out here that I will turn into the indoors. But at the moment... And actually... This is totally wrong. I'm actually going to have to change some of this as well already, aren't I? Oh, we're already out of steel? Oh, crap. Okay. Well, let's keep this door closed then, at least. So this is going to become our prisoner area. Um, need colonist beds? Yes, obviously. So go ahead and capture this guy. Oh, I hope we can recruit this guy. That would be really cool. That would be really convenient. And let's unrestrict everybody for right now. I'll get the rest of these zones sorted out. Don't worry. So if you could just go ahead and believe that, that would be great. Okay, so, who's gonna doctor? Uh, survival meal... Tending. Okay, perfect. Where... where are you going? Oh, did I put the medicine way over there? That's... not ideal. But, okay. So, are we gonna be able to convince you to join us? 31! Hmm... We're not... we're not gonna be able to. You know what? I'll leave you on that for a little bit. But there's no way we're gonna be able to convince you. Um, I'll leave Noriko on there, since you'll actually learn how to do it. But that's pretty grim. And we're not out of steel, it's just not in the right zone. Yeah, that's really, that's really quite grim. Hey, buddy, just, I need someone to come make this bed. Noriko, I don't care if you're any good at this, just come make it. We just need a bed. Okay, so we can walk, so that's good. Hooray! Uh, let's build you a light in there too, then you won't be in the dark. There we go. And I may even add a table or something for you. It's possible. Many things are possible. Okay, so what are we going to do with food? Got to make a decision here. I could put in a nutrient paste dispenser like right here. And you know what? I think I might have to. I think that may just be the way things have to go. Because I could put it in like here. Actually, I'd want to put it in here. And then put in three hoppers next to it. And then there's still room for a cooler. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to do that. Sorry, guys. I know you're not gonna like it. But it's it's just gotta be what it is. Um, hoppers. You can have three hoppers. And we're actually gonna need to put in some stone walls. Yeah, let's forbid that for a second here. We need to get some stone cutting done. Yeah, let's get that taken care of. Stonecutter's table, we'll just make that out of wood. It doesn't matter where it goes. It just needs to be somewhere. I don't care that it's outside. Yeah, we're down to 12 meals. That's not good. Oh, this is kind of cool. So it does the same thing here. Make any stone blocks. Oh, this is pretty neat. Uh, do forever. Um, just drop it on the ground. Any worker, but we're going to leave a really tight radius here. So you guys aren't running all over the place. You know what, maybe, maybe, maybe I can't wait for that at the beginning here. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cold out. It should be able to keep this place cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's put a fridge in here. This is going to now be our cooled area. Yeah, go ahead and do that. 
I may have to play with crafting a little bit, but we'll get it taken care of. So I think the plan is then that I'm going to go do a bunch of hunting, and we'll just live off meat for a little bit. I guess that's not, that's not a terrible idea. Can you make this cold enough in here? With the power that we have? We should be able to. This gives out a thousand watts. Okay, let's run some power over to this. Berserk! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get some power over first. Hold on. Oh, you're a prisoner that went berserk. Oh. Well, life is pain, buddy. All of you, come over here. We're gonna have to beat this guy up. He's gonna destroy the uh, door before I have a chance to get in there, so... Just go ahead and let him do that. Um, hold your fire. As soon as he comes out, everyone just come punch him. Actually, I take that back. Moody, don't come punch him. You guys, come punch him. Oh, you needed to get back a little bit. Come on, back up. Right. Now go get him. There we go. Okay. Ah, that idiot. Alright. Can someone please go and recapture him? Teddy, did you just take a bruise? Yeah, that's fine. And you just took some bruises. That's fine, too. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, run some power over to the nutrient paste dispenser. And then... Hmm. Alright, now we should have all the food that we need. Yeah, see, this resistance, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we can do it. Let's do some hunting. Let's get some hunting set up. Who wants to hunt? Um... Hmm. You know what? You're really bad at that. I guess... I guess we'll do it this way. Noriko can do some hunting. I should bring everybody, though, to come do some hunting the first time. Um, let's go ahead and let's set up just our various production spots here. We'll just put in a butchering spot outside, because it doesn't really matter. And... This can just set be to... what? Butcher all animals forever, probably? That willow tree is really annoying. We'll have to get rid of that. Butcher creature... Do forever... Um, a radius that means it's inside of our base. And take to best stockpile, that's fine. And these should be set to allow any food on important. Yep. Okay, so let's get the two of you with guns, which is Noriko and Teddy, who thinks he's sleeping, but actually he's not. Come over here, and let's try killing an elk. Let's see if we can kill an elk, and then we won't starve to death. And if we can't kill an elk, then we're probably fated to die to begin with. Come on, guys. You got this elk. Wow, maybe you don't got this elk. There you go. You hit it. Now, we could just wait patiently for it to die. <laughs> uh, you stupid elk, get back here. Alright, now we've got you. Now there's no escape. There we go. Destroy. Kill. Wow, this elk is really quite wily. This is by far the smartest elk I've ever seen. Come on, guys. <laughs> okay, watching them get outsmarted by this elk is hilarious. There we go. All right. Now let's go ahead and let's finish this off. Moody, too bad you're right here. Go ahead and finish it off. Yep. And who is our putative cook? Noriko. Um, bad news, you have to come butcher. Get that meat loaded. And you're already carrying it around. Perfect. And now we have food. Okay. And at this point, we're going to go ahead and let's take a break. So, before you leave, my usual standard end of first episode spiel. If RimWorld looks like fun to you, you should go buy it. It is important to support the game creators that make the games that we love so that they can continue to make them. You should also go pick up the soundtrack. It's pretty cheap. Composers don't get the love they deserve. Also, it's become apparently kind of an expensive tradition that I'm giving away a copy of RimWorld for the first episode. So if you'd like a copy, just leave a comment and I will random off for that. Let's see here, it's kind of late. Let's say at the very beginning of episode three. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. So otherwise, feel free to subscribe or leave a like or whatever. But in any case, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.